Hi, this is Mike's Quick Tips, and if you come over here from our Discord channel, or maybe you just found this video out of interest on YouTube, this is going to be a very quick and precise video of telling you how to solve a problem with your motherboard not having enough connections on it to use all of your fans. Now, case in point, this particular case has got five fans, so one, two, three, four, five. The motherboard, unfortunately, only has about three headers, so obviously you can't connect them all together but you need a cheap solution. So there's a couple of options you can do, and I will be linking all these in the video description. So if you want to pick some up on Amazon, you can do so really easily. And these are tried and tested methods, so these will certainly get you out of a fix. So the first thing to do is you can use a standard fan splitter. Now this is a really simple way of doing it. This has a four pin PWM connection, which plugs into your motherboard's header. It then splits into two PWM style connections. Now you can use this with either four pin or even a three pin fan model. This is particularly a four pin version, four pin PWM, but you can also use these splitters with both PWM and DC controlled fans. DC controlled fans generally tend to be a three pin connection. I'll try and flash some pictures up to give you a good look at what each looks like. So that will give you two fans for the price of one, but maybe you wanna go a little bit further than that. So the next one up is a four way splitter. Now this is where things start to get a little bit cautious. You don't wanna be drawing too much power from your headers if you can possibly help it. And I would say any more than three really is pushing it a little bit. Four can be done, but do bear in mind what your motherboard is capable of. Now if I spin around this PC, you can see the four pin connection in use. So as you can see, we've got our three fans in the front of this case, which all terminate into this little block. Now this block has room for an additional fan if I wanted to and a simple single four pin cable goes back to your motherboard header. So if you do need to have three or more fans on one header, maybe you've got a cheaper A320 motherboard or B450 board, and you are severely limited on PWM or fan headers on your board, this is definitely worth a look. These you can pick up on Amazon in the UK for about eight pounds. The two way ones, normally you get a four pack of these, again, similar sort of money, around about seven or eight pounds. Now maybe you've got a slightly bigger case something like a Lanley, and maybe your motherboard still doesn't have enough connectors, or you just want to simplify your cable management and you want to do it a little bit easier. Now, a way of doing that is something like this. This is from Arctic. Now, this is their 10-port case fan hub. So this works in a very similar way to these devices, but it actually has its own power included. So all you need to do is use a single connector for your motherboard. So even if you've got a A320 motherboard with just one fan or one chassis fan header, you can easily hook that up. The other end then connects into the actual hub itself, which is this. And then you can plug in all of your fans into this device. Now this itself takes power from a single SATA connection from your power supply. So you don't have to worry about overloading your fan headers with all of those fans connected. Also, because you're doing it on SATA, it takes some of the strain off the motherboard. So literally one connection to the motherboard, one connection to your power supply, and this can control up to 10 fans. And depending on your motherboard, whether it supports DC or PWM voltage, you can put three pin or actually four pin PWM style connectors into this and still control them from your motherboard BIOS. So you've got complete control over your fans, which is something you don't get on some of the other fan splitters. So do bear that in mind when you're looking for one. So hopefully this has given you some ideas for ways of controlling or supplying power to all of the fans in your PC case. If you've got any comments or questions, please do put them in the comment section below. Again, if you've come over from our Discord channel and you want to discuss the matter further, please do go into our tech support rooms and someone will be able to help you. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.